Logic Pro X 10.5 has a new multi-effects plugin called Remix Effects, and it lives in the multi-effects plugin folder. Now, it's designed for use on the stereo output, and a lot of the Live Loops starter grids come with it instantiated on the stereo output. Now, if we open the plugin, this is what it looks like. And if we open up Smart Controls, there's a dedicated tab now for Remix Effects. So what is this exactly? It's a multi-effects processor that contains buttons and sliders and two XY pads for control over real-time EDM style effects. So it's good for scratch like disc jockey type moves. You can play audio in reverse, you can down sample, you can gate, filter, wobble, delay, etc. All in real time and it's a lot of fun. Now it's designed for the main mix bus like this so that it affects all the elements together, but of course you can use it on any type of individual track or bus channel strips instead of the main output. And in the next video, we'll look at some alternate signal flow routings to use it in different ways. So let's take a look at the interface and we'll put it to work because it's a lot of fun to play with. So we have over here the two XY pads. When we click on this panel, we get a choice of six different effects. And it's the same on both, same choice of six, but we can't have the same effect on both. So we can get different ones. And when we open up this settings panel, we get some additional controls and they update depending on the effect that you have. For example, filter, we have a choice between two different types. And for example, here, maybe I'll go to wobble. We have just some time-based parameters to choose from. Or if I go to orbit, we can choose between phaser, or flanger, or mixed. So there are a couple of unique settings, and the important parameters are mapped out on the X, Y axis. Now here, we have a gator slider, and we move it up and down to gate the audio. And again, we have the values here that are associated with this. And there's also an interesting optional noise parameter we can turn on or off. This slider is for downsampling, and again, this updates for two different versions of it. Here we have a reverse button with different speeds on each side. So on this side, we select the value there. If I click on the left side, we can have different speeds for that. And here we have turntable scratching effects. And again, it's two different speeds on the left and right. There's eighth notes and there's quarter notes. And here we have a tape stop effect. And again, with two different speeds to have it slow down and stop slower or quicker. And of course, these are all user adjustable. So that's really all there is to it. It's easy. You just click and drag around and have fun. And we also have a lock icon here. And this freezes the effect at the current XY position when we release the mouse. And then we can choose a different XY effect for the same pad and use it with the locked effect. And then we have a reset button here to reset the lock status of everything and basically reset and stop all the playing parameters. So let's put some of this to work. Lock that there. So you can see how that's a lot of fun. Next video, we'll look at how to capture these movements.